Are you afraid of sharing your next piece of art with the world? Because maybe it's too honest or too raw or too revealing? Good. That's the way it should be. That's when you know that maybe, just maybe, there's something worthwhile in there. A truth that might have an impact on someone else. The only thing that you should be doing at this point in your artistic journey is practicing going to all those scary places in your psyche until you become the poster child for artistic honesty. You know, one of the beauties of being human is realizing that your truth is also many other people's truth, right? And if you could figure out a way to reveal those layers that people usually keep bottled in and put them into your own art for people to experience and to connect with, then that fearlessness will be the most important message that you could lead with. In these bullshit people-pleasing times, not compromising your artistic vision is probably the biggest statement you could ever make. My friend Leia is half Haitian, half white, and she's a writer. I wrote my first book during the pandemic. Now I'm writing a lot of Afrofuturism. What's Afrofuturism? Like good old sci-fi, but mostly featuring black characters. And she's found the perfect outlet for sharing her truth. What I find really interesting about technology in general is how does it affect marginalized people, right? And I feel like in Afrofuturism, that's like always very present. Ethical questions about race, about sexism, feminism, slavery. And Leia also identifies as queer. I say queer because for me, queerness is something that transcends definition. You can be queer in lots of ways, your sexuality, your gender, your way of living. Bell Hooks once said, the essence of queer is not about who you're having sex with, but about a self that is at odds with everything around it. And that has to invent and create and find a place to speak and to thrive and to live. Isn't that also the perfect definition of what it feels like to be an artist sometimes? At odds with everything? and having to invent a new world with your art where you can thrive and live in? I couldn't find a way to define myself, first of all. Being mixed, being white passing. I wasn't black, I wasn't white either. So that, from the get-go, is queer. Fun fact, Leia's mom was the first black woman TV anchor in Canada. Le plus grand projet pilote de télétravail au monde. Whoa. Quelques milliers des 200 000 fonctionnaires peuvent participer au programme. But even though Leia grew up with a shining example of what it looks like to do it your way, she still has doubts about going the unconventional route. She was the first black thinker in Canada. She still had to go through all the hardships that any black woman has to go through when shattering some boundaries like she did. I mean, it really ended up getting to her because she didn't have financial stability and she had children at home. Like, it was so uncertain. And so, I don't know, that really shamed me because I, I started thinking, well, it's nice to accomplish things that are, have never been done before or to reinvent things, do things your way. But it doesn't always mean that it's going to work out, you know? So I think that's why I close some doors sometimes because I'm like, oh, well, this seems cool and I, I think I could do it my way, but there's no guarantee. It's a big risk. Um, and I'm scared, you know? I think that's why. Her whole life has been a battle of not fitting in. What I hear is that you're seeing yourself almost as an alien. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and the funniest part is I'm, I'm an Aquarius, so... An Aquarius, of course. People literally see me as an alien. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've always considered myself an A. Bell Hooks, you know, in reading her books, what she says, if you don't love yourself and love your body and love what you're about, like, how can you do anything real anyway? In a world where everyone else is trying to get attention, mystery will be your superpower. That's right. In a world of oversharing and shallow validation seeking, Mystery will be your superpower. Mystery doesn't mean hiding. It doesn't mean that you stop communicating. It only means that you don't always reveal your intentions to those who are unworthy. 
Don't let the world bully you into being normal. Amen. The only reason they want you to choose a box for yourself is so that they could feel safer around you. Fuck that. But at every social crossroad, always remember, there are other ways, ways. to look beautiful. beautiful. beautiful.